session two. Again? You changed your name again, didn't you? I'll bet you did. Whoa. This time it was owned by Caraway Nargles. I've cleared it. Go ahead and take it again. Yep. Yeah, your name was Caraway Nargles before. Now it's just Nargles. So connect as Nargles from now on. All right, seeking a means to fund their expedition to Bryn Shander. The party defeats a camp of ogres. Okay. It's, you guys are going to do whatever the fuck you want. So. Yeah. I got, no, I got the update. They, they released a new update for it. Makes it a lot more user friendly. So I was just playing with it. So this didn't exactly take a long time. So. Uh, who's recapping? Or am I recapping? Someone recap. Perfect. So, as you uh, put down the last of the ogres, the prisoners that were freed uh, are both thanking you so much. Um, a quick policing of the ogres' bodies finds a smattering of coin. Uh, you find uh, 37 gold pieces and 11 silver. Uh, the yurts themselves are actually considerably sparse. You really thought there would be uh, more in them? Uh, there's just like a campfire, a pile of javelins, which are really like tree saplings that have been busted off and sharpened. Um, and, uh, otherwise the, there's not like, uh, any type of food. There's not even like a collection of bones or anything. Yeah. Uh, they do look like they've been here for a while. Um, they, uh, honestly, uh, give me a nature check. Their construction's crude. It's actually like piled rocks for the walls. And then, 
various bones and sticks and uh, stuff woven together across the top uh, with animal furs all over it and it looks like mud um, you're not really familiar with ogre architecture to be able to tell if this was of ogre make um, it's definitely ogre sized um, but like the ruts in the ground where the rocks are the rocks are worn and the mud that's caked into them for mortar is set like it's been like this is structure's been here a while it's it's worn and dilapidated it, it definitely wasn't an, a new construction um, yeah give me an investigation Okay, Nargles investigates. I see Iron Claw as well. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you can recover half of the ammo that you fired. Um... So, so the uh, the two captives uh, are profusely thanking uh, you, Relic, um, and uh, ask how you knew they were here. Uh, they thought they were goners for sure when they were transported. Oh, yes. Okay, well, are you, are you going to free the rest? Yes, they were transporting us. They said the Ogre King wanted to trade us for food, said we were too skinny. But uh, more farmers from all over the countryside, they were in a prison cell with us to the north. Uh, oh, no, he's like, he's like pointing towards the horizon into the hills. Uh, the two of them look maybe a, a day, maybe, I don't know. They, they marched us very quickly. We, they, they, they stopped here and they said in the morning we were leaving. Uh, midday, you guys left in the morning. Well, when they drug the people here, they were saying they left in the evening and they got here like at the end of the night. And the, the ogres were traveling at night. Uh, yeah, well, they're saying a day's march, eight hours. Uh, they're willing to give it a go. They've got tattered rags. Oh, they could probably take, uh, they could probably, if one of you busted up one of the spears, to, their javelins are like lances to them. So if somebody was to help bust that up, that would work. Okay. Well, that'll leave them spears, and they they can uh, happily go. Uh, they'll even send help if if you want, or they'll try. We saw, uh, well, the two ogres brought us here, and the other five were here already. Um, they argued a bunch, but we didn't understand what they were saying. Uh, and then back there, we saw at least two more ogres. Back at the cave. But 
when they did speak common, it was very choppy. There's a cave in the hills. That's where our cell was. They, there, there were maybe, I think, ten other prisoners there. Yes. The ogre said it's Ogre King's cave. Okay. Uh, you are correct. Uh, who wants to make a survival check? It's an easy check. Okay. Okay. Yes, you can easily find a trail. Um, it actually looks pretty well worn. Like this might be just a regular path that the ogres travel from the cave to this these yurts, which might just be a campsite, like a stopping point. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the evening, uh, the evening passes without event. Uh, it's quiet. It's actually a beautiful night out. Uh, might catch a couple shadows flying overhead. Um, large shadows. Uh, say on uh, on Bone Crusher's watch, you think it might be your imagination, but you think you see the silhouette of a dragon in the sky, like just past in front of the, like just a spot between the clouds. So, um, but morning arrives, no issues with the camp, nothing shows up. Uh, anyone changing spells or anything like that? Okay. I'm going to issue a long rest. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me put Shifanar back on the thing here. New Shifanar. I need to put Shifanar on my taskbar. There we go. Okay, and Shifanar is friendly. There we go. All right. As long as uh, Iron Claw agrees to that, that's fine. Okay. Um, I was. Thank you. Yeah, it was eight hours. Unless the aid's being cast again, you guys need to set it back. So, who else had aid? Yeah, if you had aid, go ahead and set it and I'll remove aid. Okay, I think I removed, oh, not from Relic. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, I can remove that if you don't want to use it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I thought the discipline was until you changed it. Or is it just an hour or until you change it? Oh, that was the actual spell. I got it. Never mind. Um, so, uh, the next morning, uh, everyone deduct one ration. Uh, the next morning, uh, you set out. It's easy to continue following the trail. And by midday, uh, you easily follow the tracks back to a large cave uh, leading back into the side of a hill. It's got kind of a sharp cliff. The, the hill rises higher and higher in the back, back beyond the cave, and you can see uh, a crude tunnel descending down into darkness. No, you guys gave them spears and sent them back to Luskin. Uh, 20 feet across, maybe 20, 30 feet across at the opening. It narrows to about 10 feet pretty quickly though. Uh, perception check, please.
I see it. Uh, no, you do not see any uh, sentries. It is very dark and foreboding inside the cave. Right, yeah, no, outside seems you don't see anything. A lot of foot traffic, though. This is definitely where they went. I'm sorry, Brian? No, no, this is open grasslands, rolling hills. So this is just like in a, in a little hollow between two of the larger hills. There's just, uh, the hill goes up very steeply, and there's a, just a cave right in the side of the mountain, of the hillside. Um, you haven't seen any. Halflings do not have night dark vision. Uh, anyone else? What's everyone else doing? Are you all good with Foggle scouting ahead? Inside the cave is dark. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put people on the map. You guys can... Yeah. All right. Uh, I will say Shifanar could fit in here, but Shifanar would would that you can see the cave narrows to ten feet pretty quickly as it descends. Shifanar could follow you. That is correct. Uh, Shifnar, you get a distinct, like, you're going to need to ride me later. You need to remember that. He, he definitely does not appreciate your humor. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. All right, I'm just going to put him there since he doesn't fit on the map yet. Okay, so uh, Foggle uh, is going to try and scout ahead. Uh, stealth, okay. So Foggle, you sneak in down the cave, and after about 20 feet, you see it opens up into a very cluttered chamber. Um, the chamber itself is about 20 feet by 20 feet. There's a entrance in the south that you came in from. You can also see a uh, passageway descending uh, to the north uh, at the end of the room. It's littered with crates and barrels. Uh, there's a pile of bones and trash and smells like bat shit in the corner. Uh, and you also see... Boop. Reveal everything. Thank you. You see two ogres on these. At first, like you're, you, because you creep up and you're like peering through the barrels. Um, there's two ogres that are asleep. Uh, both of them like laying back up against the wall, snoring quite loudly, and they're sitting on what look like like massive bar tables, uh, but they're like stools to them. It's a helpless target. Yes, they're unconscious. Well, no, you're you're here because you're looking through the crates and barrels. No, fireball doesn't crit. No, this was dim light for you. You have disadvantage on perception checks right now. Uh, they'd probably auto fail the saves, but that's, you understand, Fireball's gonna backblast your ass, right? 20 foot radius, yeah, the room's 20 foot across. <laughs> K, 
Okay, are you... Uh, okay, so... All right, this was a brash action. Uh, go ahead and drop your 20-foot uh, globe. Now nah, you've already called it. It's happening. Okay. Where where are you centering it? I wouldn't cent. Okay, that's probably a better spot to center it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, roll for initiative. Except for Foggle. Correct. Oh, I can roll for the horse. Uh, is it 12? Still waiting for Nargles. Okay, so Nargles went at 20, could have had an auto crit, but instead, Foggle goes at 21. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one option. Bring dim light. <laughs> All right, so uh, Foggle chucks a fireball. Uh, just target him and roll damage and deduct your spell, of course. Uh, but I need to roll on the surge table first, right? Or is it after? Let me see if this works here. Uh, DMs, uh, Tides of Chaos, uh, like I just flat out roll on the surge. Yeah, I can't figure out how to share the table with you. So, um, oh, you do? All right. Then click it. Uh, now roll your fireball first, and then we'll see what it does. It might be another fireball. <laughs> That's where I said you were, so yeah. No, just roll damage. Yeah. It, they auto fail their save. Okay, they both take 35 damage and are heavenly wounded. They are now awake. Uh, uh, yeah, basically all the rubbish and trash catches fire. Your hair falls out. Yeah. I'm going to say your hair burns off. Like, as it detonates, just literally all the hair on your body is singed off. What little they have, he does not. <laughs> Can you pass through their squares? Well, I can let everyone know. Uh, go ahead and roll for initiative now, Nick. Because the whole party was surprised. So, no, they were surprised. They had no idea you were going to cast a fireball. Right, that's funny. You ended up with a 21. That's hilarious. All right. So, well, no, you need to finish your turn, your surprise round. Because you said you were going to back up. Yeah, you can't get through them. Okay, cool. All right. And round two. Foggle, you're first. Everybody else, a fireball detonates in the cave. From the scout.
That's true. Uh, when it gets to your turn, <laughs> Foggle, yeah, Foggle uh, took a surprise round, and then he actually did go first. So what are you doing? Link. Level two, five foot square, unoccupied space in the granite within range. Medium hand, or uh, the target must be strength saving those failed. Takes two to six bludgeoning damage is restrained. Okay. Token. And here is your earth and grasp. Where do you want it? Oh, okay. Here you go. Correct. That's correct. I you cannot get all the way out. Okay, remember to deduct spells. Nargles. Okay, you have hidden yourself. Okay. Oh, you can. Most of the room's on fire right now. Yes, you can see both ogres. Yeah, he's restrained his shit. So, yeah, you automatically have advantage anyway because you are hidden. You get sneak attack because you have advantage. Anytime you have advantage on your attack, you get sneak attack damage. Yeah, it's an auto crit on a hit. So. Okay, you easily hit. So hold shift when you roll the damage and it'll force it to crit. Yeah, that looked painful. So, uh, you put a cross, you, you creep up, and how does it hit him? Awesome. So you creep down, and you can see this flaming thing, and this earthen hand reaching out of the ground is like holding it by the throat, pinned against the wall. And you just put a cross, you line up, it's an easy shot, and you put a crossbow bolt right through its left nostril. And it actually embed, goes through its head and embeds it into the wall. You have your cunning action, though. Oh, you have your... That was your bonus action. You're right. You use the bonus action to hide at the beginning. So, you're set. Okay. Bone Crusher. Um, 
Yeah, it would be 30. Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, it'd be... It's difficult terrain to get over the crates and barrels and shit. They're also on fire. I'm going to need a saving throw to not get burned from crossing them. I would also allow an athletics check to shoulder your way through them, so shoulder them aside. Uh, you could have an athletics check to jump over it, but the I'd let you get rid of it. So if you don't if you don't make it high enough, you don't clear them and you land on them. Okay, all right. Now nah, he makes it. Yeah, you clear it. So you just you just hurdle it uh, over the flames. And crack him with your Warhammer for nine damage. Okay. So Bone Crusher shoulders his way past Foggle with kind of a uh, gets down to the bottom and sees the giant burning room. Instantly takes it in, like yeah, I've seen this before. And uh, he just like OJ hurdles right over the barrels, lands and comes down with his hammer and clips the the ogre who's still trying to wake up and figure out why his skin is singed. Okay, uh, Shifanar, uh, paws the ground up top and whinnies. Uh, you get a telepathic, uh, that room's on fire. And uh, Shifanar will dodge. <laughs> Did seem a little extreme. Okay, effect, dodge, and Shifanar. Uh, no, you didn't, because you didn't, you hadn't used your ties to chaos again. Oh, yeah, that's on, that's you. You just roll. Oh shit, you rolled a one. I see. All right. Well, no, hold on. That matters. Uh, Foggle. Uh, size. Where is it? It's on your notes. There it is. Medium. How long are you? Oh, for the next minute. Never mind. All right. Okay, so the ogre gets to go. Um, all right. So, Uh, he's going to Great Club uh, Bone Crusher. He's going to try anyway. Uh, he's going to fail with the 12. Uh, he just clangs it off of your arm, or your, probably your shield. Okay. Relic. so dirty okay uh, he highly fails that int save she's a negative one and takes 14 damage critically wounding him so again bone crusher's used to it but there's just like a, a warble in the air it almost wavers as a mental assault slams into the ogre <laughs> Iron Claw, I'm assuming you're going to go for an athletics check to hurdle this stuff. Uh, you easily hurdle it. Okay. And... As you dive over it, uh, you plunge your longsword into its chest. Uh, it was already trying to fend off uh, Bone Crusher's assault. 
and then whenever the mental blast hit it, it kind of like slackened and lowered its defenses right as you come in and just d dive your sword into its chest and finish it off. Yeah, absolutely. I, I aim to please. Uh, one minute. Can it be moved? Okay. So, uh, the room is smoldering and smoking. The fireball? It was loud as shit. Yes. Yeah, there's a huge detonation. Okay, so you're going to spend a round getting your marching order settled back again. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you what you see then. Okay, so ahead you can see uh, you're like at the top of the stairs. Uh, those two... Relic, Nargles, where's Foggle? Foggle. Okay. Uh, Shifanar can try to come in. Uh, Shifanar will follow you as best as possible. So, uh, as you uh, realign yourself and start to head down, uh, you see four ogres that are all rising uh, up, and you can it looks like they're waking up uh, from whatever the noise was. Uh, and that's where we'll start initiative. Uh, we'll just continue initiative, actually. Uh, Foggle, your first act. Actually, no. You know what? This is new opponents. New new initiative. And this is round three. Okay, and Shifanar gets a seven. Okay. So, Relic is first. It does. Uh, you can move into that space and that is your limit of line of sight. Okay, can I get that one linked? 
Thank you. Phantom foe. Distracting figment. Is this the one where you... Oh, wow. Action. Choose one creature to 60 feet on a failed save or a creature and adjacent to it. The cursor is in. Can't take your actions. Okay. But yeah, he passed it. It doesn't happen often with the ogres. Uh, no. At, at least half the squares there. I'm fine with it. Actually, yeah, I will say that's squeezed. You don't have a full five foot square. Okay. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, you can drop the prone effect on you from the thing. All right. The ogres go. So uh, the first ogre lumbers up and uh, swings at, uh, let's just take a pick here. Um, takes a swing at Bone Crusher. With disadvantage. Uh, hitting with a 22 anyway. He powered through that. And he hits for 9 damage, reduced down to 6 from Heavy Armor Mastery. Uh, then the ogre... Uh, yeah, this is an advanced tactics. He stands there ready to kick ass. Alright. Bone Crusher, your turn. Uh, you're going to miss with your weapon. Oh, shit. Is that a reaction? How, can you link that? How does that work? Oh, nice. Uh, then, yes, that is a hit. Okay, for nine damage, lightly wounding the ogre. Wow, missed again. It's a rough one. What does it take to move it? And then reach for a different creature and move to a different uncovered space within range. Okay. I'm reading it, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Use the hand to crush your strain target. Make strength saving throw on a failed save. Takes two to six damage. It reaches for one creature. So it says you can make it reach for someone else. Reaching is what makes it do the grab and damage. So I'm going to say no. You can either make it reach or move it to a different space. So. Right, that's when you cast it, but f so as a maintenance, it says you can attack another creature that would have to be within five feet, or you can make it move to another square. So you can move it with your action. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you can try and hide behind Iron Claw. Go ahead. It's just stealth. Have you ever played 5e? Alright, you have hidden. You think you did great. Okay. Um, Ogre 2 goes. Ogre 2 will trundle up here and go after Iron Claw with a great club. Uh, missing with an 18. Just bangs it off of your shield. Shifanar goes and uh, just shuffles at the top of the stairs nervously. Um, and will dodge. Boop. Okay, uh, Nargles. I if you get a token for Shifanar. Uh, you do not get advantage just because he's in combat, no. You could use your bonus action to hide behind the Goliath, because they're bigger than you. Okay. Oh, that's right, you are. Thank you. Okay, uh, you beat their passive perception, so you are hidden. You can attack with advantage. You got you get sneak attack regardless because they're adjacent to an ally, but so you have advantage and they are in cover. So either give yourself minus two or you can click the plus minus window and click cover before you roll. Okay. Uh woo, that is a whiff and a half. I'll clear your sneak attack damage. He rolled a one and a three. It was not good. Okay. Iron Claw. Okay. Uh, hit, barely. For ten. Hitting. Uh, for eight. Okay, uh, Ogre three will go. Um, Ogre 3 moves to here and will chuck a spear at, uh, hmm. Let's chuck a spear at Foggle. Whoops. Did I target him? I, was, I forgot to move the mouse before I did the, all right, so let's see, you're in cover. Cover, javelin, yeah, so he missed. Jesus Christ, he really missed. Okay. Yeah, 18 and 19. All right, Ogre 4 will go. And uh, what's the rules on attacking the hand? I feel like you should be able to attack the hand. Link the spell for me. Link the spell for me. There it is. Maximilian's Earth and Grasp. Um, uh, he's going to bash it with his great club. And uh, we'll call that, whoops, uh, let's see, 
Roll. He got a... Uh, he got a nine. It wasn't enough to hit it. If he does hit it, it's going to be a concentration check to keep the hand alive. To keep it going. So. It's to keep it corporeal. Alright. Uh, Relic Zur. Round four. He cast a spell again. This is round four. Based on, yeah, if it's for spell duration, for when that hand goes away. Uh, wow. They both failed the crap out of that. Distraction figment is an action. You choose one target you see within 60 feet of you. The target makes an intelligence saving throw. D10 psychic per psi point spent. And thinks it is perceiving a threatening creature just out of its sight. Can't use reactions and melee attack rolls against it have advantage. Okay. Alright. And they took one damage. How come only one of them took one damage? Huh. Oh, gotcha. I see. Sure. I like it. All right. All right. Does he miss? Uh, so it can't take reactions, and attack rolls have advantage. Okay. Uh, I guess it'll. Uh, it's leery, but it'll go ahead and keep uh, plugging away. Uh, I guess at Iron Claw this time. He's, you have advantage to attack him. He's distracted by whatever he thinks is after him. But And let's see. Let's untarget Bone Crusher. Great Club. Uh, 19 hits. For 9 damage. No, 12 damage reduced down to 9 with your Heavy Armor Mastery. And that's it for him. And uh, Bone Crusher. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that effect does. Yeah, there is an advantage attack melee, I think. Or grant advantage attack melee. Uh, but you clocked him. The ogres are bags of hit points. Another hit. For five damage. Okay. Anything else for Foggle? I mean for Bone Crusher? Sure. Anything else for Bone Crusher? Oh, spiritual weapon. Nice. Uh, 
course it is. Sorry, it's not. It's this thingy. Boop. No, it's an angelic, draconic looking blade. But that's the icon I got. That's what it looks like, damn it. Yeah, it's a melee attack. And 13 hits. Uh, for four more damage. Okay, Foggle. There's a bit of a brawl going on with the ogres up front. Okay. Force to save. Yes, you did. Uh, but he failed to save anyway, so no problem. For five damage, and he is now restrained by the hand. Okay, you too. Okay, you can prone yourself. It's in the effects button, the effects window. Okay. Ogre 2 uh, is restrained. What's he need to break out? Uh, strength, is he in a success. Escapes and is no longer restrained. Can he take any action while restrained? He can't, can he? I don't think that's restrained. I think restrained is... You know what? No, you're right. You can't attack. It's just disadvantage. But he will try to break out. Uh, let's see. Um, it'd be good if you knew that. I don't know. Tell me what it is. Strength check. He got a 14. He breaks free. It did take his action. Um, and he will uh, drop back. Yep. Correct. Nope. Hit. For 12. Nice hit. He does not have Sentinel, no. Okay. Uh, Shifanar will continue to dodge. Uh, Nargles. Okay. Okay, you have hidden, and he does not see you, or he's, he can't tell where your attack's coming from, so you get advantage. He always adds the sneak attack damage at the same time. I already had to remove it once. I already had to remove it once. <laughs> yeah. I already made it. He's already got a horse token. Oh. I don't know. Awful lot of stars. I'll let Scott pick out what he wants. All right, and that one is down. Uh, Iron Claw. Okay.
Not currently. Oh, crit. Yep. What level slot? Okay. So, you need to click the... Where's the Divine Smite? Uh, did I not put Divine Smite on your toolbar? I didn't. Sorry. Let me grab it. Uh, I don't even... Why don't I have... Where's Divine Smite? Divine Smite. I mean, it's not even on his ability tab. Divine Smite. There we go. Action. Divine Smite is a feature. Whoops. Group. Feature. Actions. And... Divine Smite, add action effect here. The base is what damage, 2d8 radiant, and then if type, is it fiend or undead? Uh, I'll get those added in a second. Uh, it's 2d8 radiant uh, on self next roll and then it's also d8 per level right add action effect uh, here damage 1d8 radiant on next roll okay so you're going to actually click both of them one to give you 2d8 and another one to give you an extra d8 because it's uh, you're using a second level spell slot. And it's going to get really nasty when you roll that crit damage. Jesus Christ. Okay. So you slash into it for 45 damage, critically wounding it. You hit for 10 more. It is in bad shape. Ogre 3 gets the swing back. Uh, he's enraged. He's furious. Uh, he will try to club Iron Claw. And he does not. Ogre 4 gets to go. Uh, Ogre 4 will move down to here and also attack Iron Claw. Uh, missing. Bad. Okay, this is not going well for them. Round 5. Relic. Yeah, suckers. You got a 20. That's great. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. 
Bone Crusher! Okay. Nope. Foggle. Really? Not Ogre 3, who's almost dead. Okay. That's true. Okay, uh, he fails to save. I can't believe they're failing these strength saves left and right. They're making the intellect saves and failing the strength ones. And the difference in modifiers is seven. <laughs> yeah. Man. Okay. So you lightly wound him and restrain him. It's going to suck for him. Uh... Ogre 2 goes. Um, I guess Ogre 2 will move up to here and attack uh, Iron Claw. Oh, your stupid hand's in the way. There's too much shit in the way here. Screw it. He'll throw a javelin at Iron Claw. Here. And Iron Claw has cover. You just keep these like that. There we go. Cover. Javelin. Uh, he misses badly with a 12. Chiffonard dodges. It's not a great spot for a horse. <laughs> Nargles. Your turn. Uh, <laughs> uh, only against four. You don't have advantage on, on the really wounded one. You're not hidden. You don't have anywhere to hide. But then he wouldn't have line of sight anymore. And you easily hit him for 14 damage, moderately wounding him. Uh, from Ogre 3, sure, but not from Ogre 4. Ogre 4 can see you just fine. No. Okay. Iron Claw. <sighs> you did. I'm so glad you missed with that one. All right. And that kills it. Got it. Awesome. Ogre 4 will, uh, I think he might just take that challenge. Yeah. But he can still attack. He just has a disadvantage. I think, uh, no, he's not going to break free. He's just going to try and wallop him. I know it's a really bad chance to hit, but I'm feeling good. Come on, double crit. Oh, God! The drop die was a 20. No, you can't. But the drop die was a 20. Here. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to target. Here, I'll just drop it on him. There. He got a 20 and a 13. I'm trying to figure out why my... God damn it. Capture region. Here we go. See him? There you go. What the hell did it do that for? There it goes. It was just the link. Yeah, I hear you fine. I don't know what Brian's talking. Do you have to pick that before or after the roll? He does 11 damage, reduced down to 8. You've got 17 wounds so far. Oh, it's for, it's the hit. You can negate the hit. I see. Well, you've got 8 damage coming at you. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's awful. It hurts my soul. Now, let's not get mean. Let's stop getting... We don't need to get mean here. All right, Relic. I believe you can drop to the ground for free. Okay. He fails that one. Let's see him. For 17 damage, heavily wounding the ogre. All right. The door opens. And a troll comes bursting out. Yep. And the troll... Will uh, it looks around the room, sees uh, you guys attacking, and it goes after. So you got a two. It goes after Iron Claw. Okay, so uh, the troll attacks a few times. One bite and two claws. So first bite hits for nine damage. Claw misses. And claw hits for eight damage. We good? Okay. Bone Crusher, your turn. Correct. Nine damage, critically wounding the restrained ogre.
Yeah, it's not concentration. Well, he's looking at another concentration that he's about to fire off. I kind of thought so. Yep. Correct. So I guess it depends how annoying you're being. Is it centered on you? That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Foggle. Yeah, you can just choose to crush him. He gets a saving throw still. Maybe he'll make a strength save for once. Yeah, he does. Yes. He makes a strength saving throw and he takes 2d6 bludgeoning on a failed one. Half as much on a successful. Okay. Uh, hit. Four. Yeah, it should be doing two. I'm fixing it. Yeah, there. I wonder if lightning lure is the same. Yep, yeah, it should be 2d8. So this would be 2d8. An extra d8 fire damage to the target. Okay. Um, Brian, this uh, second troll willingly enters the spiritual guardian. Okay. Uh, he fails his save. Okay, and he will attack Bone Crusher with disadvantage. Okay, first claw uh, hits through that disadvantage, baby. Yeah, he's badass. Uh, for 12 damage, partially reduced. Okay. No. Um, yeah, I, I remember we were going to build it and we decided not to because it might heal from more than you took. D what is it? Is it D12 plus con? Yeah. Just roll that. Yeah. Or just put three in the mod window first. Okay. Uh, you stopped 12. Nice. All right. You counter that. Uh, so you're back to three damage. All right. Other what? Okay. 
Gotcha. Okay, so he throws another claw. Critting. Four. Oh, you're immune to crits. You're right, so let's cut this in half. Oh, well, technically I'm supposed to take two damage off. The crit dice were two. This is the worst crit ever. Um, uh, yeah. Well, no. You took... Yeah, yeah, ten total after damage reduction. It'd be 11 plus 4 be 15 minus 3. 17... Why'd you only take 12? Oh! It didn't count the critical damage. It did 6, 5, plus 4 is 11. I mean, it's 15. Minus 3 is 12. It didn't count the critical damage. Immune crits apparently works. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that was an option. Okay, so, uh, and then a bite. Because he's not done. Uh, and the bite misses. Okay, uh, Ogre 2. Oh, yeah, uh, you're going to need to roll. No, I'm not going to say for the zero. But you took uh, how much on the second one? Yeah, 12. So you're going to need to roll a, uh, it's a DC 12 check, right? Or is it DC, DC 10? You're right, it's half the damage. So DC 10 constitution check. Yeah, Constitution save. That's what I mean. You're fine. Okay. Uh, Ogre 2 will uh, grab a javelin, throw it at Iron Claw. Actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, only to give advantage. Uh, so he'll throw at, yeah, we'll do Bone Crusher. Uh, and Bone Crusher is in cover. I meant Iron Claw. That's who I have clicked on. Uh, hits with a 20. That's right. I'm on fire. All right. 11 damage. Reduced down to 8. Okay, go ahead and roll. Plus your con mod. I don't know what your con mod is. Is it two? Okay, so put a two in the mod window and roll a d12. Yeah, that's a d10. Thanks for playing. Whoa. You can also just click on it and type a 3 or a 2. There we go. Uh, maybe. You still didn't do the bonus. Okay, you negated it all. Yeah, so I will give you back. Yeah, you need to definitely practice that. Uh, so minus 8 is 28. No, not that. The little mod box down the bottom left. That's how we used to do everything back in the old day, before all this sweet automation. Yeah, we had a buff that was like, you would have a buff that was, it was like buff soup, and it would be slash mod plus 12, and you would hit that before you attacked. Because it would be all the buffs you have added up in 3.5. Okay, Ogre 2, uh, Whiffed. Um, Shifanar, Will Dodge. I feel like I could pull Shifinar off the thing right now. Uh, Nargles. Yup. He is. That does. Uh, 
that is definitely a hit. Four, 20 damage and kills him. Okay, Nargles puts down another ogre. Iron Claw. Okay. Miss. Hit with the second one for eight damage. Okay, no problem. Check off your slot and it'll be. Concentration on you, plus two AC. That'll be helpful. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, I see it. All right, uh, round seven, Relic. It fails its save. Yes, you did. You shot it with a fireball. I mean, not you go before him. If... Okay, he failed his save. That was... Oh, that's that crazy one that makes him fight for you, right? Yeah, that's pretty big. Okay. Okay. Troll 1. Will, uh... Yeah, Troll 1 in the Spiritual Guardians. Thank you. He did. Why is it not disabling that? How much does this regen for? 10 points. Yep. I don't know why it's not disabling. Yeah. I'll have to figure it out later. Yeah, it's more likely it just got broken. Okay, seven damage to the troll. All right, so the troll will definitely try and break up uh, this spell emanating from Bone Crusher. Uh, he's going to start with the claw with this advantage. And whiffs, would have hit. Second attack, uh, whiffs. And the bite misses with an 18. Damn. That was an important turn for him. It didn't go well. All right, Bone Crusher. That is a hit. Oh, nice, for 10 damage. What's next?
22 hits for minimum damage, doing four more. Okay. Foggle. Two. Oh, advantage on your firebolt. Gotcha. Okay. Which you didn't do. Oh, I gotcha. It's you hit. It, we're good. <laughs> but the second time, oh, I see. Yeah, you dropped an 11. Didn't matter. For 13 damage. Heavily wounding the troll. And I don't know how to make it not regen next turn. So just remember that. The horse wants you to get the hell out of his way. But he can't talk, so. Yeah, but at least he could get by. Nah, that's true. I guess I could squeeze through there. It'd be what? 10, 20, 30, 40. He needs 50 feet of movement. To not squeeze. I don't think he can move that fast. Oh, he does. Never mind. I think he's going to squeeze through. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Troll 2 goes. Uh, troll 2. Yeah, go ahead. Succeeds on his save and takes 8. It's not the horse's turn. Okay, so first he tries to bite Troll 1 successfully, doing 10. Uh, then he tries to claw Troll 1, missing. Tries to claw him again, missing. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ogre 2. Uh, well, so much for the horse. Uh, Ogre 2 will wade in. Go ahead, Brian. He fails and takes 11. And then he wails on Iron Claw with a great club. Uh, hitting with a 19. Oh, missing because of Shield of Faith. That was big. <laughs> they should, yeah. The same spell doesn't stack, that's all. Shifinar. So, I'm tired of this. Shifinar charges down, squeezing, and attacks Ogre 2 with a trample. Yep. He's got to go for it. Ah, uh, he misses. Okay. Nargles. Okay. No, he's saying with his... Oh, you don't have inspiration. Oh, you can use your inspiration to give him advantage. He used Tides of Chaos for a Firebolt. All right, Nargles is attacking Troll 1. And hits. Wait, oh, that's 26. Stealth, yes, you have advantage. Sorry, you're hiding. That's what I realized now. 
crit. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. He forgot to add his sneak attack. Just roll a uh, 66. Pick up a 6 out of die and start right clicking until you get 6 of them. There we go. 27 more. Yeah, he's he's fucking dead. Okay, thank you. Uh, troll 1. Oh yeah, he had 3 more health. So, he dies horribly. Alright, Iron Claw. Trying to approve it. I can't get you clicked. There. Oh, that's because you you moved the spiritual weapon. Yeah. That's fine. Sure. Okay. Uh, you hit for 10 damage. He's heavily wounded. Uh, second attack hits for seven more damage, critically wounding him. So you're chopping up this ogre. They're tough. Ogres have a lot of health. The smallest giants and the dumbest. Okay. All right. Round nine. No, round eight. Sorry. Relic. There's been a bunch came in and left. Like a bunch. I would... Uh, it's a saving throw, right? You can see him. Yeah, you can draw to two of his points of contact. He did save. Yeah, it's a thing. You're trying to control him. It's hard to it's hard to exert more mental dominance on him. All right, Bone Crusher. Yeah, so that missed. <laughs> no, he does not consider you an enemy. No, he's mind controlled, not charmed. This is EQ charm. Till he makes his save. Yeah, it's a minute or he makes his save. Okay. Okay, so is that it? Or no, you still got an attack. Okay. And you miss. Foggle. Attack who? The troll? He's in cover. What, your inspiration? Okay. Remember to click cover. It's fine.
And you hit. You're still prone. But... Yeah, just roll another d20. No, just one more. It doesn't matter. None of them were 20s. None of them were 20s, so we're good. <laughs> Why? You're going to lay back down. Okay, we'll see. Gotcha. No. He just hit next turn. He healed it, actually. Oh, no. My thing healed it. All right. See? It says regen acid fire disabled. I don't know. All right. Uh, I am. So, hold on. How much did you do? Everybody keeps going here. It needs eight back, right? 25. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Because he passed his save. All right. Um, Troll will step out and attack Bone Crusher. No, he won't. He'll attack the ogre. Sorry. Let me get this damn spirit weapon out of the damn way. Alright. Uh, first he tries to bite him. Hitting. For five damage. Then he tries to claw him. Hitting. For killing him. Drop a saving throw on him. He fails. He stays mind controlled. And Shifinar! It's gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> sure. Shifinar ain't got room. You mean run up the stairs and come back down? No, Shifinar's not doing that. <laughs> Shifinar rears up his hooves and misses it's a little late but I'll take it uh, hitting for 11 damage alright Nargles you can dismiss it with the thought it hasn't been 10 rounds it's been 8 Okay, Nargles. Okay. It is on there twice. Don't put the sneak attack on yet. You haven't hit. No, you're not. Watch. Told you. I called that shit. Okay. Duration. Shield of Faith. Yeah, ten minutes. Okay. He's getting pretty hacked up. Okay, next round. Round nine, Relic. He takes 14 more, critically wounding him. Okay. F 
Foggle. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. That hits for six more. Uh, you didn't do cover. Checking his AC. Uh, that hit. It still hit. Okay, eight fire damage. See, it just said it didn't disable at that time. Oh, it was already disabled? No, it wasn't. That's weird. It only seems to work when it's on his turn. All right. He fails, and that does it. I already did. Okay. Okay. Didn't we put your lay on hands in your ammo? Yeah, so you just check it off. It doesn't notify anybody or bug us. So in that little mod box, type 24, and then drag the heel from Lay on Hands and drop it on yourself. And you should get a 24-point heel. There's, a, there's an effect. It's a zero-point heel. And then drop it on yourself, and you should get 24 health. There you go. Yeah. Okay. It's quiet right now. I didn't change it. I didn't change it. There is nothing to really change. Uh, yes, you can collect half your shot bolts back. Okay, um, let's see here. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Okay, so you see a door directly to your north and to the east, down a uh, uh, a crudely carved staircase into the bedrock. Uh, you can see it opens up into a very large chamber. I was just moving you till we decide what we're doing. I've I've shown as far as the light is showing. Oh yeah, you got dark vision. So, uh towards the back of the chamber in the dim light you can you can hear and see a, a glimmer of water uh, like a murky pool on the ground uh, and you see what no you can't and you see uh, what looks like uh, a very very large skeleton on the ground you can see bones Give me a stealth check. OK. 
Okay. Foggle, you sneak up down the staircase. You can see the rest of the chamber. There is a huge chamber. Uh, it's probably 30 feet across, 50, 60 feet tall. Uh, the, the ceiling is over 30 feet up in the air. There is a, a, a huge table. It's like the side of a house or something. Uh, you can see cupboards up on top of the table, almost like knick-knack shelves. Uh, there's giant bags uh, and jewelry and coins scattered across the table. You can see a huge pile of bags in the northwest corner of, uh, it might be grain or foodstuffs. There's a large, uh, very large chest, almost five feet across, uh, in the northeast corner. There's a large shallow pool of murky water on the east wall uh, that you can see an ogre is kind of currently splashing around in. Maybe he's getting a drink or taking a bath, you can't tell. Uh, there's the remains of an old, um, now that you see it, it must have been a young dragon. I mean, it's a huge skeleton, but uh, for a dragon skeleton, it's not that big. Um, there's an ogre over there uh, digging through the food sacks. Two very large uh, lit braziers are lighting up the room from the back, uh, and it extends almost down to the doorway, the light. Uh, and then sitting atop it is a gigantic, huge uh, humanoid creature. Uh, it's a hill giant. Um, he is wearing uh, a crown made of wood that has, uh, it looks like a, it's, it's either a gem or a piece of glass set into uh, the center of it. Uh, and he's sitting on the throne looking kind of bored, uh, leaning around. And no, he looks and he goes, Ah! Get the goblin! And he stands up. And that's where we'll stop. <clears throat> According to this role, you are. <laughs> According to this role, you're really bad at stealth. Uh, you got a three. No, you rolled a three. So you get a nine. The giant has a better passive perception than that. You beat the ogres. The ogres didn't see you. That's true. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, absolutely good game, guys. I'm going to, uh, everyone, um, everyone roll for initiative now. Oh, we've got it done. Ooh, Iron Claw is feeling in. Yeah. Good. Iron Claw and Bone Crush are ready to bring it. Yeah, yeah, no, they're not surprised. He, he turns and go get that motherfucker. So, yeah, Hell Giant. This should be fun. No, that is, that is murky water. It doesn't look like, what? It doesn't look like dirt. What's wrong with your eyes? Yeah. It does not. It has an outer opacity effect so that it fades. Oh my god. Well, this encounter is going badly for you. See? See? There's a guy smart. Wait a minute. Nick, you're playing a suck up. What are you talking about? Okay, this should be good. I'm looking forward to this. God, that giant is a scary motherfucker. I am. 
Yeah, that's going to be big. <laughs> that's going to be big. All right. Oh, shit. That's his int save. Let me check. Oh, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. No, he's, he's as dumb as an ogre. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be bad. Do what? No, this is great. I think it's awesome. No. No, this guy's... I have a feeling this, this hill giant's about to brain his guys. The hill giant is the ogre king, if that wasn't obvious. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's... He's a big fat fucker. No, it's a hill giant. Big old fat motherfucker. Yeah, here comes your first giant. Oh, God, I can't believe it. Wow. And message me. Okay, I'm going to stop the stream. Uh, well, we had people stop in. Oh, hey, Kelly Who. Yes, we we finished Curse of Strahd about a month ago. Uh, all the videos are up on our YouTube playlist. Uh, I think it's missing one. Uh, and we started uh, Storm King's Thunder. This is our second session, although we, we haven't actually done anything Storm King's Thunder related yet. So... They decided to immediately go off the rails. So, uh, yeah, they needed money for horses. So they decided to go test their adventuring metal out. So you guys are laying your own. I told Nick, I'm laying track in front of you guys right now. So, so I feel like you would have encountered this cave today. <laughs> Look, we're going back to Luskin. You fall into a cave. <laughs> no. No. I know. That was my thing. I told Nick. I told Nick. I was like, we have lawful predictable in the group. So all I got to do is pretty much. I just going to be like, oh, there's people in danger. Well, guess we're going there. <laughs> so I can't wait till you guys start finding treasure it's gonna be great well when you find a locket with a picture in it and then you recognize the picture is one of the captives like you can't keep that <laughs> you gotta give that back <laughs> like what are you gonna do when Ironclaw realizes all the treasure you found belongs to these farmers <laughs> that's true Maybe he's not smart enough to figure it out. Yeah. No, but your oath of devotion. Like, your, your help, the meek and the needy, and... Trust me, there's... I think there's going to be enough money. You don't have to worry about it. In the stream, all you could hear was me. Oh, God dang it. My desktop audio is still messed up. Yeah, that explains it. It's because of Rabbit. I had to restart. I had to close Rabbit and reconnect. There's no audio for you guys for the whole session. Uh, that's going to be... Shit. That's it. Well, thanks, Kelly Hugh. You're the first person to tell us that uh, you couldn't hear anything. Just... Curious if there's even a. Um, uh, 
Yeah, you're right, Kelly. We're going to need a really detailed recap. Hold on here. Let me see if I can fix that. Man, there was music and everything. Whoops. Here. Just curious if the. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Now it's got Darkle sound. has a nine in her Man. Yeah. Does May still help? I'm he excited. Can, he can Play. do deception. Is that. Is that, is that Christmas? Oh, yeah, deception is Christmas. Never mind. Yeah. Derp -derp. It's it's all right. Well, like I'm not actively gonna. There's the audio. <laughs> Shit. It's all right. We'll get this session didn't have like role play or anything. It was literally. Yeah, I know, device. but there was a lot of like. It's great for us, but like no one's I gonna watch this. Play. I did a little bit of role play. The fact that there was no sound the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> then we got to hear Nargle's ass kissing. <laughs> I'm surprised the ogre didn't come in. Come I can't in believe either. FS Schmo. I can't believe Schmo didn't say something. Uh, you know, Jason, I'm surprised the ogres don't try to make me their minion or something. Seeing the o a goblin come in the room. Yeah, they're You're gonna just squish you. Goblins like like minions or slaves or whatever. I'll be a slave. Yeah, if you were supposed to be in here, you're not supposed to fucking be in here. Yeah, maybe I snuck past all their guys. I don't know. You're lucky I rolled bad on his initiative. <laughs> I was gonna have him plaster you with a boulder. <laughs> they can throw I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. 260 foot range. I yeah, think but they, I think they do 3d10. Yeah, it's a really hard time hitting me with a boulder. A hill giant is it very scary. Hurts. Yeah, 3d10 with I'll a rut when they throw a boulder. Nice. Yeah. That is all you. They are nasty. All Iron giants are nasty. Iron but a giant with two ogres? Oh shit. It's gonna be awesome having that giant on our side. Yeah, it is. It is. Forever. We're gonna recruit him into our party. Oh, we never, we never did discuss a party, a party name. That's true. <laughs> well, that's good because no one would have heard it anyway. Yeah. Blessing in disguise. Giant Killing Incorporated. But we didn't fight giants before. Though. We're not incorporated. Yeah. We are now. There's a giant right there. What does that have to do with incorporated? You don't understand uh, what that word means. Doesn't matter. Sounds good, okay? Shut up. <laughs> okay. Giant Killers LLC. Jesus. A limited liability corporation? Are you kidding? Exactly. That's perfect for us. When I fire all the party, they'll be able to sue me. No, my guy is totally liable. He 100% cares. He doesn't want the <laughs> limited liability. <laughs> oh, it's your no charity case. Oh. <sighs> Damn it. I cannot believe it played this whole time with no sound. <laughs> <sighs> Scott is all like preachy Bahamut stuff though. I'm all about prayer through deed. See the light. See the light. Hey, we could be like, it's like, we got a prayer today. Let's go brain some ogres. We could be helpers in virtue. We're riding on a high right now because helpers Tiamat was virtue? Bahamut's yeah. nemesis. Tiamat was killed. So. Help, helping his virtue? I don't know. HIV? It'd make the casting of AIDS all Let's more see. appropriate. <laughs> what the fuck? 